find this. Alright. Get everything opened up here. And then we'll start the procedure. And for the record, in terms of a pain scale, if you can compare it to something. Probably more like a bee sting. The latest office innovation is a microchip implanted in the skin. This is the first American company to ever try this. So what are they tracking? And would you say yes if your boss asked you to do the same? So if my employer wanted to microchip me as if I was their puppy, I would have a huge problem with it, and I would probably quit. You could argue that the government is tracking you everywhere you go, but they are already with your phones. Yeah, it just seems a bit permanent. If you already have an Apple Watch that's you're wearing around, at least you can take that off at some point. Not something I would do. I think it's a great idea, and I think it would make it all a lot easier. I just think that you have to back it up with maybe some doctors saying it's good for your health, and then I think I would, I would do it. Three Square Market is a company working on one of the biotech advances at the forefront, implantable RFID or radio frequency ID microchips. The tech has been around for decades, used to track pets, packages, and livestock, but now the Wisconsin-based company is trying to make the implants mainstream. Even with all the risks and unknowns associated with this technology, I was really curious what it would be like to have an implant. Get chipped, thinking, what's the worst that could happen? The chip is coming out at the end of the day. And the RFID chip is already inside there. Yes. And it's a little bit larger than a grain of rice. Correct. Jasmine rice, I think. Basmati. Basmati. That's Andy Whitehead, better known as Gonzo. He's a local body piercer with 17 years of experience who was brought in to implant the microchips. I was slightly nervous about having the microchip inserted inside my body, given the size of the needle, and also nervous about what it could potentially mean for me, but here we go. Why don't you take a nice big, 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 big deep breath in and exhale really slow. Here we go. It's in there. It's in there. Pretty quick and easy. I feel like a cyborg. Here you go, you're a proud member now. Indeed, part of the club. Just like that. Shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wahawa Kakadash. Give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because that's who I learned this truth from. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shai, peace, blessings, salutations to the awful elect, and shalom to the sincere Akim scattered abroad, pushing forth this word and truth and sincerity. All right, I'm your boy Mashiach Arazaka, and today's lecture is going to be titled, all right, um, the RFID chip. All right, so if you get the RFID chip, notice, all right, you will be destroyed for taking the chip because according to the scriptures, all right, you're not supposed to take the RFID chip. All right, if you take the RFID chip, you're going to be destroyed by the Messiah. All right, but you got gullible, dumbfounded people like this guy right here, all right, taking the chip all right and we're going to go into the breakdown of the chip that if you take the rfid chip you're going to be destroyed all right right now it's being voluntarily all right it's voluntary to take it but pretty soon it's going to be the new currency and it's going to be mandatory if you don't take the chip you're going to be put to death all right but uh we're going to go to the scriptures and prove that the rfid chip is the mark of the beast all right whether you believe it or not all right this is Revelations 13, 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right, who's he? He is talking about Esau, all right, the so-called white man, all right? The people that are over the central banks, the elite, the high power banking families, all right? All right it says that he, that the image of the beast, Salakia, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be put to death. Verse 16 and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. So from the richest man of the world to the poorest man, homeless on the street, all right? Because when this takes place, because what? The dollar is going to crash, the economic collapse. When the dollar crashes, the chip, the RFID chip implant, all right, is going to be the new currency, all right? So that is what's going to take place, all right? And the people that's over the central bank is trying to push forth this agenda, all right? So... This is going to take place, and it's going to be mandatory. From the richest man in the world to the poorest man homeless on the street is going to have to take the RFID chip. It's going to be forced to take the RFID chip. They ain't going to have to take it. They're going to be forced to take it, all right? 
It says free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or on their foreheads. So what's the meaning of the word mark? All right, we're going to go into the Greek of it. You know, go into the Greek and get the etymology of the word uh, mark. All right. And the word mark, it means karagma. Strong's G, 5480, Haragma. Haragma. Khan, which means what? A stamp or imprinted mark. So the RFID chip implant, all right, is, is it, the word mark, it means karagma, all right, which means a stamp or imp, imprinted mark. So it's a mark that goes underneath your skin, okay? It gets implemented in your skin. And if you take this, you take the RFID chip, all right, you're going to be destroyed for taking it, okay? Because what? The mark of the beast, all right, is against the scriptures. The Heavenly Father doesn't want us to take the chip. Now, you 17 unchosen nations, it is what it is for you. But according to the Bible, the Lord doesn't want his people taking the chip. If you take the chip, you're going to be destroyed. All right. And you got people that say, oh, I don't believe in the mark of the beast. OK, we're going to get there. But let's go into the uh, the meaning of the word karagma, which is another Greek word, which means karox, karox. All right. Strong's G, 5482, karox, karox. Con, which means a pale or stake, a palisade. And what's that? A palisade, all right, is a um, needle that they use that they put the chip in, okay, which gets implemented under your skin. All right, and we're going to go there showing the dude putting the palisade, which is a sharp needle, me, which is that sharp needle. If you see the sharp needle right there, all right, it's on the left-hand side of the corner, all right? That's that pale stick that's being des described in the context, okay? The, pal the palisade, all right? That it's a sharp needle that they use to implement the chip what? underneath Here your skin. Go. So as you can see, it gets implemented in your skin, all right? That's the sharp needle that the scripture is talking about. All right, a pale, a pale or stake or palisade, palisade, all right, that's that needle, all right, so that's the meaning of the word mark, all right, it says, or the number of his name, or the number, I mean, or the, yeah, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, Salakia, so we're going to go to uh, Revelations, the 14th chapter in the ninth verse, because you got people that say, oh, I don't believe in the RFID chip, okay, if you take the RFID chip, there's no repentance for it. Once you take the chip, that's it. Even if the Messiah returns and you go to take the chip out of your skin, there's no repentance for it. You're going to still be destroyed because you took the chip. This is Revelation 14, 9. It says, And the third angel follow him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the image of the beast. All right. Read it from again from the top. If any man worship the beast and his image, Salakia, and receive his mark in his hand or in his, or in his forehead or in his hand, Salakia. Because if you take the chip... It doesn't matter which hand you get it in, all right? If you take the chip in your right hand, if you take it in your left, it doesn't matter. Once you receive the chip, that's it. You're going to be down, and the Lord is going to destroy you because the RFID chip, which is which is the uh, mark of the beast, all right, you're not supposed to take the chip, all right? You're not supposed to take it, and if you take it, you're going to be destroyed. All right, let me read it again from the top, Revelations 14, 9. And the third angel follow him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his right hand, or in his forehead, Salakia, or in his right or, or in his hand, all right, it doesn't matter where you get your hand, all right, even if you get it in your forehead. Because, you know, you might have people that might not have no arms or no hands. So, you know, they, they're going to get it implemented in their forehead, all right. So again, it says it right here. It says, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. All right. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. What does indignation mean? It means anger. All right. Fury, wrath of the heavenly father. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb. Who's the lamb? The lamb is Yahweh Shai and the angels. They're going to return on those chariots, man. All right. 
and they're going to destroy this place called Babylon. All right. Because the Lord has to destroy this this uh, this uh, this place called Babylon, man, which is America. This place called America, Salakia, which is Babylon. The Lord has to destroy it. So Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this place, man, and he's going to set his kingdom upon this planet Earth. All right. So again, if you take the RFID chip, you're going to be destroyed because you got people that say they don't believe in it. Well, if you take the RFID chip, there's no repentance for it. So even if again, even if you take the chip and you get it implemented in your hand like this fool did, all right. There's no repentance for it. So you're going to be destroyed. Even if you take it out of your skin and take it out, it don't mean shit. You're going to be destroyed because you took the chip. All right. So, you know, if you can't go into the scriptures and break this down because you got Christians that sold out Christianity, people that sold out and these other camps, these other Hebrew Israelite camps. All right. That sold out under the 501c3 charter. All right. Because who's over the 501c3 charter? All right. These people who are the elites. All right, they're in power of over all the central banks. They're the ones that's pushing forth the agenda of the RFID chip, because what the RFID chip is going to be the new is going to be the new currency. All right, again, because if you go to usdebtclock.org, you'll see all the countries and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars of debt started from America on down. So they have to bring forth a new currency. All right, the dollar is going to crash, the economic collapse, and they're going to bring in the RFID chip, which would be the new currency. All right. So these people are over the central banks. These are the high power elites. All right. So, you know, if you take the chip, you're going to be destroyed. So, again, man, I pray this video is edifying. I just want to do a quick breakdown on that. If you take the RFID chip like these dudes, they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed anyway because they're Edomites. But if you take the if you take this chip, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, be prepared to be destroyed. There's no repentance for it. So with that, I'm in it there with that. Till then, shalom.